Greetings, everyone. Well, it is package opening time again. I received a package from Strumdog. Yeah, longtime viewer, hardcore collector, uh, obsessive fan of my stuff. Well, I didn't say obsessive, but loyal fan of my stuff. He watches all my videos, goes to as many of the live streams as his schedule will allow, and um, participates in the Discord chat. Just all around awesome, cool guy who's a big movie and animation and everything geek like we are. Um, yeah, so the top is a little tarnished here because I, I had to rip off the address thing that was on it and uh, it has my address in massive block letters on the back so i don't want all you weirdos knowing where i live <laughs> Alrighty, um i know what one of the items in this package is but as always um he uh said he was going to send a little something else as well i have no idea what that is if it's movie related or video game related or or something entirely else that i couldn't even possibly guess. I have no idea. Um, yeah, so he's been incredibly patient. He hasn't dropped any hints whatsoever or asked me when the package opening is going. He just asked to confirm that I received the package, which I did confirm. And uh, bless his, his soul for being so patient. I've had this here for about a month, uh, possibly longer, and just haven't got around to the package opening until now. So terribly sorry to keep you waiting. I'm sure he's been dying to see what I think of whatever the other items are in this um yeah so let's get right to it shall we no more waiting package opening time package from strum dog let's check it out today on the multimedia chronicles Okay. By the way, if you're wondering about the weird angle, it's because it's in the middle of the day, and if I angle the camera any more that way, you get the blazing sunlight from my uh, window. So, uh, better to do it this way. I know it's a little strange. Ah, there we go. And then, uh, there we go. I'll take a look. Here. It's an Amazon Prime box. So I don't know if these were items ordered through Amazon Prime or, or what. Um, I subscribe to Amazon Prime not for the free shipping, because I always order enough to get free shipping anyway, uh, but for Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, because Amazon Prime Streaming has all the old episodes of Unsolved Mysteries. So very, very cool indeed. Okay. Oh, we've got things individually wrapped here. Oh, I'm not sure what this uh, is. I'm not sure what... Uh, if there's, uh, oh, hold on. There's a note. <laughs> there's a note here. Hang on. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. I don't want to read the note first. But, okay, here we go. So this is, uh, I, it feels, I'm, I know what the sort of main item is here. I don't know what the bonus item is that he was sending. Um, so let's, let's check it out here. So just plainly wrapped in white paper. Very nice. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, what is this? Oh, cool. Okay, hold on. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. Yeah, so here we go. This is, check this out, Stranger Things, which um, I do subscribe to Netflix, and I've watched both seasons of this. I love this show so much. I mean, as an 80s kid, there is so much to love about this and uh enjoy but this is the uh this is the uh blu-ray release 
which was released as a Target exclusive. So, a couple things. First off, it's in this really cool packaging that looks like an old VHS uh, release. It's very cool. We'll open this up in just a minute here. But uh, I really wanted this because uh, I, I love the show and uh, I really liked how they did this retro packaging for it. And uh, But the problem was it was only available in the States. It was not available here in Canada anywhere. And beyond that, it was only available at Target. So it's specifically a Target-exclusive U.S.-only Blu-ray release. So doubly impossible to get up here in Canada. So I was, I guess, lamenting about it uh, on on the Discord chat. I was like, God, I would love to get that, but there's just there's no Target. The Targets that were here closed down a few years ago, and even when they were here, we didn't always get all the U.S. exclusives. Sometimes we get get them, sometimes we wouldn't. Um, so then Strong Dog was like, well, I can get that for you. I'm like, really? A actually, I had about three people <laughs> offer to just get it for me and send it my way. Um, Strong Dog was the first to respond. So, so, um, he, he was the one who, uh, you know, ha had the honor, I guess, of, of grabbing it for me. But, uh, um, yeah, wow, that, that's fantastic. We'll open this up in just a minute here. The other thing, uh, so this is the bonus item that he sent which is great it's uh stranger things official merchandise we have 11 with a, a little pack of uh, ego waffles as her accessory i love that i mean there's such a nod to et like especially in the se first season there's a lot of nods to et and i love that how with et it was reese's pieces with 11 it's ego waffles like actual brand you know that Ego has been selling gajillions of Ego waffles since then. So if we look on the back here, there's uh, a nice little set. Oh, this is from Funko, actually. Funko, like just sort of regular style, like retro style uh, action figures from like when I was a kid. And then we have, um, so there's action figures of Will, Lucas, Dustin, Eleven, Mike, and a Demogorgon. So take a look there. Very nice. Very cool indeed. Well, I'm probably obviously going to leave that in the packaging because uh, that is just too cool. Um, so let's open up the uh, the um, set here and uh, and check it out. So very cool. I'm so excited to have this finally. Um, it's even got like a rental sticker on the front of it. That's great. Like just go all out with the uh, with the retro style here. Just got to figure out how to open it. It's not going to damage it there's obviously like part of the design is it looks looks distressed like uh you know a tape that's been on the shelf for a little too long ah, i'm just gonna see if we can uh kind of get a start on it oh actually no i think i got it my mighty fingers here we go okay here we go oh this is beautiful look at this it messes with your head because you, you expect to like feel the edges and for it to be all rough, but it isn't. It's smooth. It's it's actually printed that way. So if we uh, open it up here, look at that. Oh, that's great. So it looks like a ginormous VHS tape. It's a little bit oversized. In fact, if you're going to equate this to tape size, I would say this is about the size of a three-quarter inch U-matic uh, tape. Yeah, just going back a bit. Uh, sort of one of the broadcast formats back in the day. Yeah, that's very cool. Very nice. So then I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's just like a magnetic thing that opens up. And there you go. There's the discs. And we got some uh, packing goodies there. Uh, let me just see. Oh, okay. Oh, neat. So then it opens. Oh, which way are we going here? I think it's the upside down, so it's hard to tell which way it's supposed to go. I think it goes that way. And then we got the other two discs inside there. So, season one. Oh, is that the... Uh... Oh, I think it's... Yeah, it's the DVDs underneath. Yeah, so it's the DVDs underneath, the Blu-rays on top. So the Blu-rays are the black discs, and the... DVDs are the white discs. So that that's pretty neat how they do that. And then what's this sort of little, oh, sort of just a little spongy hub there. All right, so let's put that on there. And come on, there we go. Okay, so friends don't lie. That's right, they don't. So this, I guess, is the limited edition poster. Let's check this out here and see how it opens up. 
All right. Yeah, I was I was a little late to. I actually just finished watching season two, uh, maybe about a month or so ago. Oh, look at that. Neat. So it's like sort of strung in the mouth of a demogorgon. <laughs> look at that. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I uh, I love this. I hope they do. I hope they do every season in a set like this. That would be wonderful to have have just this massive oversized uh, packaging on the on the shelf. You know. Oh, that is that is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Strum Dog. That is uh, that is fantastic. I'm definitely going to enjoy enjoy that for years to come. Great stuff. Alrighty, now oh, let's see uh, see what the note is here. <laughs> Got the Ego waffles, very nice. Uh, hey Sean, here's that thing I promised to send you after our chat last week. Yes, last week. <laughs> it sucks that you don't have targets up there anymore, if not just for certain exclusive releases like this. I hope it arrived unscathed after its trip across the continent. I also included a little extra for you to display next to it or give to Rosie if you're so inclined. As always, thanks for all the work you put into producing great videos and all the laughs along the way. Take care, Strum Dog. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. And uh, again, thank you very, very much. Um, I, I definitely appreciate it. This fan of the Stranger Things fan across the border definitely appreciates this. And, uh, and rest assured, it arrived completely unscathed. It's in absolutely pristine condition, so... Thank you very much. You you pack your stuff better than Amazon, actually. <laughs> so, alrighty, folks, that is it for me to you for now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, special package opening, and I'll see you next time. Until then, big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors for being Patreon sponsors, and uh, we'll see you next time. Till then, sayonara. <laughs>